Battle Word is on the corner, ladies and gentlemen. It's closing in on us. Um, the devs had a Q&A session with Jose and Pathfinder, our community manager. Uh, they announced that it's going to be in November. Now, my speculation is that it's going to be either late November or beginning of December, since we do have a full Astral team that needs to be dropped before then. And uh, as some of you guys might have seen the leak videos, uh, Doctor Strange and Moon Dragon are going to be on the team uh, with three new members. By the time the three new members are released or are available for the purchase or coring, uh, will be towards end of November or beginning of December. Uh, in this video, we are going to recap the Q&A session. We are going to uh, speculate a little bit. We are going to go over some details that you might have missed. Or if you just haven't watched the Q&A session, I am here for you to recap it and we're gonna go over what's there to know and what's needed to prepare. So let's jump right into it. Battle World is a new game mode, uh, which for now it's going to be um, the unlock method for Null. As you guys might see in uh, my background picture, we have Null with the symbols in the corner, the dev set, now will be mostly, I quote, free uh, plug and play. Plug and play, meaning that we can plug it into any team. Now, there are symbiotes in the background of it of this picture faded. Uh, so I'm guessing symbiotes will boost Null, will come to his aid, but um, you can actually use Null in other teams as well. Now, it could be the case that he doesn't have any ties with symbiotes at all, but I hope that's not the case because Carnage plus Null should be a bonkers combination. Um, it's going to be a six day event and it's going to happen weekly. Just like Cosmic Crucible has rooms, this is going to have some required teams. Uh, each day we're going to go through a zone. So six days is going to equal six zones. As you guys see in the picture, we have uh, five of the zones locked. We have zone one that is available for entering with 30 waves. Um, now, um, devs mentioned there are going to be some new tech um, uh, applied within the game mechanics, which will allow uh, Alliance Mace to attack the same node sim simultaneously, unlike waves, unlike raids, I'm sorry. And uh, since that is going to be case, I'm I'm guessing it's not going to be um, it's not like for each uh, alliance member, it's going to be separate amounts of damage tracking, and it depends on how you perform on the node. Uh, progression system basically is that there are there is a certain threshold for each day that you have to meet uh, in terms of VP points. And if you meet that minimum points criteria, you will progress to the next zone for the second 24 hour zone two. If not, you're gonna have another attempt at zone one. Uh, however, if that is the case that on the sixth day, you're not gonna be able to face null and you're not gonna have the opportunity to unlock him from my understanding. Uh, that being said, um, each uh, zone uh, will have four nodes total with one spec ops uh, mission plus one uh, elite mission as they call it which will require uh, some new team in this case in zone one uh, we saw in one of the pictures on their website that required pegasus or astro and uh, in that case we may see some bonuses like war raid crucible bonuses activated for those nodes um, I'm guessing um, from what we, we've heard in the rumors, uh, this new Astral team will be a war defense team. And if that's the case, they may get the war, their war bonuses, their war part, parts of their kits activated. Um, if there is a node, for, for example, in, in section two or zone two that will require night stalkers, we may see raid bonuses activated and so on and so forth. And that is how, how it's going to work. We, we're going to have separate damage tracking for each alliance member. And while um, this this seems exciting and all, uh, I'm a little bit scared since it, it is going to be tied to character unlocks monthly. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit scared that it's going to become uh, like 
uh, Blitz 2.0. Basically, as you guys might remember from the old days when we had characters inside Blitz, and uh, basically the unlock would depend. You would get certain amount of shard for beating the milestones, and then you would have to wait for the leaderboard results. And everybody was going crazy blitzing uh, to uh, compete against each other for more shards. And in this scenario, there is, yes, there is a leaderboard attached uh, to, which will be basically an alliance leaderboard, your alliance against other alliances. And I'm guessing there will be some, um, maybe paper, purple ISO, maybe uh, null shards. I'm not exactly sure that they didn't give gave out any information on that, but if there is null shards in that, if it's tied to a character unlock, it's gonna become kind of like Blitz where uh, we have we are forced to just play daily, rack up our VP points and place higher in the leaderboards against other alliances and everybody else is go are going to do the same. So it's not going to be um, any fun if that's the case. But um, it, I, I could be wrong, it could be very fun. Um, this, this first iteration will have null, hopefully null won't be in the leaderboards. Maybe they give out their diamond, uh, his diamond in the leaderboard, we'll see. And uh, this um, required teams will rotate monthly or um, bi-monthly, depending on how long this season will go. Um, in the picture, in this picture, I guess it's right, or in one of the pictures shown, uh, yes, here we see it says 15 season ends in 15 days. So I'm guessing any, it could be anywhere between three weeks to two months for each season or each um, iteration of a battle award but uh yes as, as you guys can see you, it's going to run monday through saturday and um if you are able to meet that minimum uh criteria minimum sixty thousand points you're going to progress to zone two otherwise you're going to stay in zone one and you're going to have to fight and if uh, you finish the sixty thousand early you have the chance to rerun the nodes just go through it again then this is what i'm scared of having to do repeat attacks, just keep going through the notes and um, just keep racking up points for the leaderboards. And um, interestingly, um, the killing the notes won't matter actually. I guess it matters because there is, as you guys see the numbers, there's 4,000, 5,000. Uh, there are certain points for each note, for beating each note. However, uh, you get points from damage or beating waves. Uh, it's a one or the other. I'm not sure exactly. Or um, could be like Crucible based on efficiency or turn bonus. Um, you will get more points that way as well. Uh, so it's, um, it's, for example, first node, you go in, you do damage. Your alliance also go in. He, he's going to face the same enemies. They're going to do damage. And um, it's cumulative, basically, uh, the damage will go towards your uh, 60,000 threshold that you need to meet before the 24 hours run out. Each player uh, within their alliance will have three attempts for each node. As you guys see here, um, there. this is the zone one requirements that is not going to change based on what Jose said. Exact uh, verbal team has said it's not going to change before it goes live. So it's going to be City, Cosmic, Spider-Verse, Cosmic, and Elite Mission will contain Pegasus or Astral as their requirement. And um, uh, we are not exactly sure um, how the points are awarded, but there is that uh, last mission, which says 10 points, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be more than that, uh, which maybe it's 10 points per character, but you place your character in the spec ops mission and you don't have to actually battle, but you do get points for placing them there. Characters that you place in the spec ops are not available for battling inside the combat missions. And um, like war defense, war offense, if you have something on war defense, you're not going to be able to use them on war offense. And Jose did mention there's going to be certain minimum requirement for spec ops, for example, either star requirements, seven star, seven yellow star characters, or it could be red stars, it could be gear tier level. We do not know. Um, the audience asked Jose if he can reveal 
what's the requirement for the spec ops he didn't say he said he's going to bring it up to the team hopefully we will get the information in a in a blog post sooner rather than later but we will see and lastly we have the boss um the and as, before we get it to get into the boss detail there there is the picture for the spec ops mission when you enter it um each player can put te place 10 characters into a spec ops and as you guys see it's going to be um a spec ops one a spec ops two so three players uh can place uh characters within each a spec ops mission which um will totally ramp up to 5280 rupees i guess and that's going to be extra rupee i'm not sure how that works but we will see once it goes live Okay, so the boss is very interesting. Um, it's going to be unkillable. And like, um, like for example, if you have 60% of their health set and you go punch with the Apocalypse Empowered Basic, um, he's going to revive again and you're going to have to be beat him again. Uh, there is going to be a kill count on the boss. For and um, I guess the this, the way this is designed is just for VP farming because if you finish the boss then you won't be able to rack up any more points on the last day, which will be the boss day. Basically, sixth day will be when the no boss is revealed, and um, they're they're gonna put some and they they're implementing some special mechanics to prevent like death pool alts. Um, for mass damage minerva alt for percentile damage any any sort of big damage that you can reduce a chunk of their health that's not going to be possible here and um it's um it requires a lot of team coordination because you wanna it's your last day you want to stack up as many points as you can and um yeah that that's going to be the case we don't know null skit so we don't know how uh we are going to approach it as an alliance, but um, as soon as uh, Null Kid drops, I'll be sure to cover it. There, There is going to be a store associated with it, as well as a leaderboard and a currency. So the higher your points, um, or the higher your VP points by the end of the season, the higher your rewards in the alliance leaderboards. And uh, there are difficulties also similar to raids. The no difficulties will go up. Uh, the rewards are can be um, increased uh, increased as well. So if it feels too easy, you can always increase the difficulty up to difficulty five, I believe. And um, mainly the store will contain uh, newer character shards as well as purple ISO. So. Uh, I'm going to also put out a separate video for this, but we're going to have to be um, specifically as, as F2P, especially as F2P players, we're going to have to be a bit strategic about this new currency. I'm, I'm, I'm going to guess it's going to be expensive, Purple Eye, so we're going to see if it's worth it or not. Uh, when it comes out, we don't have any information at this moment, but um, for sure we want to place higher, we want to um be able to get more of the currency or as much as the currency as possible but uh, I, I just hope it's not going to be like blitzing man i'm i'm really scared it's a new game mode it's exciting i'm excited for it but um the fact that it's going to be repetitive and it's going to be tied to a character unlock makes me think that um it could be possibly like blitzing. If there is character shards in the leaderboards, I'm, I'm going to be mad because it's going to be um, blitz 2.0 for me. I'm, I'm, I hope that's not the case, but we'll see. Anyways, um, that's it for the video. I do appreciate you guys um, for supporting my channel. I uh, try to cover the recap as best of as I, as I could. Um, the the whole q a session uh was basically left with a lot of blanks blank spaces where the questions were asked but there was no answer for it um i hope we get some more answers soon we don't know any 
uh, team requirements for any more zones than zone one. And we don't know what the astral team is um, even. I mean, we have rumors or leaks rather uh, for what the characters will be. But um, aside from that, we don't know anything. We don't know the difficulty. We don't know what's in the leaderboard. I hope they will include more information within the one of the future blogs soon. Um, otherwise, this is it for the video. I hope it helps you guys get an understanding of this game mode and what it's going to be like. Um, if you are investing right now, please stop because um, this could be a whole bunch of nothing and it could be just wasted resources. You could get through, get through it with your current roster. Don't start investing too soon. I'm, I'm not um, bringing up any characters as of right now because um, Pegasus might do better than the Astral team. We don't know that. I mean, it's, it's a low possibility, but it is a possibility that you can use Kestrel instead of Doctor Strange uh, within within the notes, within the elite notes. And as for the other notes, it's, it's cosmic. There's a lot of cosmic characters. You could just go in again and again and um oh i forgot so each um each of the characters can be used once and it's only three attempts per note so if you go in with eternals and your team dies you're not gonna be ha able to use them again there's no heal for them in between notes and uh, you're gonna have to use a new team for that so that that is going to be the sum of it Appreciate you guys as always for tuning in to another Marvel Strike Force video. If you guys like the channel, if you guys like to see more of these videos, please feel free to subscribe for more content and support me further. And I hope to see you again.